So we're now going to move on to um, issues to do with requesting uh, access to data. And uh, we're very keen that, I mean, these fantastic data sets are used more widely and delighted to welcome colleague uh, Jenny Quint is going to speak about this. So thanks very much indeed, Jenny. Thanks very much, Aziz. Uh, and hello to all of you this afternoon. Uh, can I have my next slide, please? So I've tried to keep this as simple as possible, because as you've probably appreciated from everything that you've heard, this has been a relatively complex phenomena, not just in terms of data and analyses, but also in terms of governance. So in the interest of simplicity, the easiest thing to do if you're interested in accessing a particular source of data for undertaking a particular piece of work um, is to look at the publications uh, as they come out and to contact the lead researcher for each country and, and each type of, of data analysis. There are always contact uh, details. Um, what the team have been very, very good about doing is ensuring that as analyses are being undertaken and going into the public domain, that those code lists and algorithms that underpin all of those analyses are accessible. Um, and there are some links here uh, on this slide to the GitHub pages. Um, where um, various different code lists and algorithms can be found for the different uh, sources of, uh, of analysis. Um, but again, this will depend upon what exactly it is you're, you're interested in potentially being able to, to replicate. Um, I'd also like to draw your attention to the uh, Health Data Research Gateway, um, on which there is a multitude of information regarding this uh, and, and other data assets and, and details on how to, to access other uh, data assets as well. Um, and finally, just the, the DACVAP2 website, um, which also uh, has links to, um, to the various different resources that I've mentioned here, uh, where you're able to uh, find out more information about accessing the GitHub repositories uh, or being able to, to get in touch with people about research. Um, but I will keep it simple uh, and leave it there. Uh, thanks very much, Aziz. Uh, thanks so much, Jenny. Uh, very clear, so uh, helpful.